Yay! <laughs> we are live! <laughs> we made it! How I'm does it get any better? I'm just going to say we prep for a call like the best way ever. <laughs> Shall we show how we, how we prepped for this Google yes. Hangout called Pragmatic Future? Are you ready, people? Okay, cool. Okay. Three, two, one. Word! <laughs> yeah. So this is exactly Word. how you create your future. You press yep. the randomizer <laughs> and it just randomizes shit. <laughs> What would I like to create today? Randomize. Um, I want to go swimming today. <laughs> and I want to work really smart. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so Alrighty. why why are we doing this? Because this hangout is called Pragmatic Futurists. Yes, you're in the right place. <laughs> it's called Pragmatic <laughs> Futurists. <laughs> creating your future wealth. And why are we being so silly yeah. on this particular hangout talking about the future, I wonder? How extremely serious are you being when you are creating your future? And how extremely serious are you being when you're creating your wealth or money? <laughs> That's and, what we're going to change today. Yeah. And, and how serious are you about it when it doesn't show up the way you think it does? Exactly. Oh. <laughs> cool. <laughs> So, as you know, I'm Graham Crosskill, and that's the amazing Susanna Metamaya. Whoop, 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 whoop. And, um, yeah, you know, this, this whole conversation, this whole energy, this whole creation has come from um, silly conversations that we tended to have over a few meals and drinks every once in a while. And it's... Um, yeah, it's something really quite unique, I think. And, and in particular, um, like where we've been chatting from, is that the future yes. is not a common topic. You know, and the, people get so frustrated. What I've noticed is because their future never shows up the way they've yeah. dreamed it to. Um, and I think particularly in, in the main areas of, of where people struggle, like money and wealth. So... Yeah, I wonder, Susanna, like yeah. where you can go with that. I just wanted to, I just wanted to say, brilliant what you what you just brought up. Like the future is not a common topic. Like so, what is a common topic? The past, like everything oh. that does not work and wow. why it didn't work. And we just had a, I just finished facilitating a pragmatic psychology class, pragmatic psychology class, um, and. We talked so much about how when you create your life, most people, because this is what's normal in this world, look at the past. And they look at the past as a reference point um, to create the future, except they don't create the future because they kept, keep looking at the past. Yeah. And yeah. speaking of wealth and speaking of money, which is the topic today for this pragmatic futurist hang out is you know when when we talk about money so many people look at trying to create a result trying to get somewhere with money like trying to create a certain amount of money and if you're like like this is one of the things and when you are looking at a result and trying to achieve something what is it you have already decided in that moment mm. is my question like how much have you already decided what you can't have, what you won't have, what you didn't have in the past? How much are you already starting to look at the lack of what you don't have rather than creating your future? Yeah. Damn. Yeah. And you know that it's actually quite, it's so interesting that you brought that particular piece up because I recently, like two days ago, um, you know, money's been a big thing for me, and, and it's one of the major things that I've been working on. And um, I finally acknowledged that I have had been functioning from a poverty consciousness. And how that actually showed up was I was walking through the mall, and I walked out, and I saw a lady jump into her brand new Discovery. You know, the nice Discovery. What's a Discovery? Is that it's a, the, a the Land Rover? A car. It's a car. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's the top end. It's the top end four by fours. You know, the Land Rovers and all that, the British Range Rovers and all that. When you talk about cars with me, do colors, not, not oh, red. White, white, white <laughs> oh, okay, cool. four by four. <laughs> 
And um, I, I heard myself say to myself, I was like, she must be in debt for that car. And I just realized that I had a point of view that no one could make money in this country, as an example, based on history, based on past. And I kept on creating that because that was my point of view, that if you have these things, you must be in debt. There's no way you can actually have money. So it's, it's just, it's such an interesting way to look at the, the, the small little things that we say to ourselves that we don't notice based on our past that creates our future. Yeah. Yeah. And it's like, um, so one of the things that um, I wanted to invite to with pragmatic futurist is like pragmatic actually means doing and choosing what works. And most people tend to be rather dramatic than pragmatic. And dramatic is just what we're talking about now. It's like everywhere you're looking at the past to find out how to create the future. And looking at the past is where you're always going into lack and into limitation. And looking at how to create the future is where you're trying to find the right steps when there are no right steps. So um, what, what I'm like really excited about with this whole energy of pragmatic futurist is inviting to a totally different perspective on creating your future in every area. And today we're talking about wealth. So, um, so what is like, what is creating the future in a pragmatic way with wealth? How could, you know, one go about it differently? What did you change in your life that, you know, creates something new and different and more expansive? Yeah, that's a good question. Well, the first thing that, that I would say really creates a massive difference in creating a future that works is getting out of the definition of everything. <laughs> Do not have a conclusion or a definition of what it looks like, what it, how it should show up, all of that kind of stuff, because that's really where you're not, you're not getting to receive what's possible. Hmm. So th that's, that's really, really cool, like out of definition. So um, when I'm looking at creating money, um, and so, hmm, so creating money, like for me in a way that, that works, is focus on the money and when i don't focus at i want to create like this amount amount of money because the thing is like when like what we're taught to when we want to create something is focusing on it you know like uh yeah. putting all our attention on something and making it very like with that you make it really really significant so like if you if you guys watching look at how have i been creating money so far like how much have I tried to put all my attention my energy on creating money and wealth and how significant have I made it and if you make anything significant by putting focus on it like how easy is it to create not at all yeah. because you like you have so much attention on it and and you have like this this you, you don't have your awareness 360 degrees, like what else is possible, what else is possible. You're like, no, I want to create money. I need money. I want to have money now. And then this becomes this really, really, really significant thing. And it's from that, it's like trying to keep, like trying to make a person significant. And you think that without that person, you can't survive. The same with money. If you think that money is so significant, you can't survive. It's really, really hard to create it. So like what we're inviting here to is like a bigger perspective. Mm. So, so everywhere you guys have thought that if I don't focus on the money, if I don't make hard work out of it, if I don't make it, make it significant, I will lose it and I will never ever create it. Will you all please destroy and create it? Right, wrong, good, bad, pot, pot, all oh. nine shorts, boys <laughs> and beyonds. No it's just funny. Enough. Right, there's lots of charge because it's this funny, weird perspective that we've bought living in this reality and growing up here. That if we don't focus on it, we lose it, yeah. And everything yeah. that that is, will you please just join and create it? Dynamic right, wrong, good, bad, pot, pot, all nine shirts, boys, and beyonds. Yeah, and, and that's so, so like r really so present in people's worlds. Is if you don't focus on it, 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 it there, there's this point of view that, yeah, it's it's you giving up on it and then it's not going to show up for, for you or something like that. But the one thing that I've noticed that's really different about creating pragmatically 
It's to create towards what you'd like to have, not the money. Which has really, <laughs> really been, been a big difference for me. Yeah. Yay! Party <laughs> hat on for that comment. Can you say it again, please? It's about creating towards what you'd like to have, not the money. I love I, it. I got something for that. Hang on. <laughs> yeah and and what what i've noticed is is every time i like okay so an example i've been asking for um to upgrade my wardrobe and technically i don't have the cash quote unquote but it showed up but i asked it from the question okay what would it take for this to show up what would it take for me to create new clothes a new wardrobe and that showed up in the most amazing way. And it showed up in a way that was even better than I could have asked for. And I've seen them. They're awesome. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, what the, and the thing is that I would like to know from you, Susanna, is what is, you, you have also this way with money. There's something that you know that's really different, <laughs> but very much about the pragmatic future side of it. Can yeah. you talk a bit about that? And I know, I know that we, we too had that conversation before and um, when, when you said that and when you asked me, I actually had to look at it because it's so normal for me. So I'm like, hey, what am I actually doing different or what's that? And so it's really funny to talk about this on, on a hangout because um, it's like, it's so like, what I wonder is if people really want to hear that. You know, I'm like, I'm happy to talk about it, but I'm like, do people really want to hear it? Because the way, like what you're asking me to talk about with that is something that most people like don't want to have because it's, the thing is, it's so normal to have a hard time with money. And if you want to be somehow normal, you have to have it hard with money because if you don't, People probably will have a point of view about you. They will, um, like, there will be all kinds of things coming up for people around you because it's a willingness to go beyond normal. Like, it's this conversation about assimilating. Like, you know, assimilating is when you, when you, when you see something around you and you, you make it yours, you make it part of you. And so many people are assimilating to, the reality of lack, the reality of no money, because it's all around us. It's so normal. And growing up in this world, it's like, it seems like there's no other choice than assimilating yeah, yeah. to the no choice universe with everything, especially with money. And you're normal if you assimilate to the no choice universe with money, like, because everybody does it. If you grew up with parents who had a particular level, like a, a particular amount of money, and then you ask to go beyond it, you have to go beyond what's been, what has been normal for you in the past. Like you have to stop assimilating to your parents' reality with money and go, okay, so how different am I? How different am I willing to be? And so what's my choice going to be? What's my reality? And who would I be if I wouldn't assimilate to other people's realities? Everything that that is, mm -hmm. y'all, will you please destroy and create it? <laughs> y'all. Right, wrong, good, bad, bad, fuck, all my shorts, boys and beyond. So I was going text in for, for a second here. So the, the, yeah, go. Yeah, Karen, sorry. Okay. Um, what, is there a, like, a step for you mm. that you could kind of say that is <laughs> to put one foot forward and to be yeah. able to being, my question really is what, like, what does it take to have that as a normal reality? It's okay. So this is a very unpopular, popular thing to answer what I'm going to say right now. So it's, it's choice. <laughs> it's the <a> choice. <laughs> I know it's like, Boo! Oh, but, uh, uh, okay, let me, let me put on this one. <laughs> <laughs> it's a very unpopular thing to say because it's like people want to know, but how, 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 how? Yeah. But, you know, life is not an Ikea furniture. You know, like, have you ever shopped at Ikea? 
the furniture I'm very that we don't have IKEA. Here. <laughs> no, yeah, it's, I, I get that. <laughs> it's like you know, you get all these steps on how to put together a furniture piece, and then you do step one, step two, and you follow everything, and there's always something missing. There is like ah. the 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 nails missing or something, and that's how people create their lives. They're like, okay, I want to know how, but there's never a how to it. It's really, a, it's not a how. It's a that. It's a choice. And in this case, with money. Like if you really want to create your future wealth, you have to be willing to be different. You have to be willing to have an ease in your world with money and a non-significant with money that's so not normal. So everything that that is and everywhere you rather assimilate to the lack with money of this reality than create your reality and your future wealth with money that works for you. Will you please destroy and create it times a godzillion? Yes. <laughs> right, wrong, good, bad, pot, pock, all nine shirts, boys and beyonds. You said what works for you. There is a lot more to that. Yeah. And it, it, it seems that a lot of people work hard so that things don't work for them. Yeah. Which is really, really interesting. You know, and I think this is really what, what we kind of inviting people to. It's actually really getting things to work with you and, and for you in a greater way. You know, because as I said it, I get so excited because I've experienced it so much where, like I was saying, you know, when you're looking towards what you'd like to actually have and create, not the money, it shows up for you in it. Like, it's almost like going to a, like a restaurant, like a buffet, and there's like these options that you didn't even know existed. And they're even better than anything you've ever had before. And you kind of like go, well, how come I didn't know about this? And this is what the universe really is is actually trying to offer you when you get out of it has to be about the money. So so what like so just wondering on, on because what we're talking about is like if you listen to this and you go how 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 um you'd like pretending to be an Indian or something. <laughs> well that wasn't <laughs> funny at all. Um, <laughs> um that <laughs> Yes, <laughs> that's, the, that's the bad joke cricket that comes out when you tell a really, really bad joke. Okay, it's oh, so. Man, I'm going to stay on YouTube live the whole night. <laughs> <laughs> this is too much fun. So, what? Where was I actually? Um, I lost my the train lost the station. Um, the yeah, train right. definitely so, lost the station. <laughs> 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 Oh my god! When we two facilitate together, people, it's like off the charts crazy. Um, so, like, if you sit there and go, "Oh my god, she's telling so bad jokes," and if you go and at the same time also go, "But how am I gonna create that money?" <laughs> <laughs> then, um, just if you for a second like cancel out the how and receive receive what we are talking about from an energy of, okay, I have no idea what these two guys are talking about, like besides telling bad jokes and doing weird stuff on pictures, like with crowns and all that. I have no idea what they're talking about, but what if you just allow yourself to receive an awareness beyond what you've been functioning so far? Because what we're talking about with money and creating your future wealth with money is so much about receiving beyond what you can control yeah. okay yeah. so really it's like when you listen and you you're looking for this is not a hangout where we tell you okay now number one step one do this step two do this because like I've been doing steps and it hasn't worked so this is a different way of functioning in the world this is a different way of creating what truly works for you and it starts with a willingness to receive beyond what you can control Okay, so while you're listening, so what can I receive here that opens up a totally different universe that contributes to me and facilitates me to access creating the future wealth that truly works for me and with me? And everything that doesn't allow that times a godzillion, will you please destroy and create it? Yeah. Right, wrong, good, bad, pot, pock, all nine shorts, boys and beyond. So one of the energies that, um, that takes you there or helps you to access this is an energy that we are inviting through this hangout over and over and it's the energy of joy and fun this is one of the elements that's this is why when graham was asking me so how are you creating the money you're creating with so much ease 
is because I'm having more fun than it's normal. And I'm allowing more ease than normal. And this is why I was saying, I'm not sure if people even want to hear it. Because ease and fun and joy are energies that in our world are still very unsexy, very unpopular, and not really chosen many times. Because if you're really a good person, you work hard, and you make yourself a hard time, and you assimilate to the hardship of this reality, <laughs> everything that that is, will you please destroy and create it? Hmm. Right, wrong, good, bad, pop, pop, all nine shorts, boys and beyonds. But can I just like just stop you for for one second? Then? Because I really would like to actually exponentialize what you're saying there. And you know, Susanna, that is really one thing that you totally embody: is you have this capacity for for the joy and the fun of everything. And it is such a contribution to to what we're talking about. And um, yeah sort of inviting that in because wealth and money it's you could have a billion dollars and you'll be as happy as donald trump you know <laughs> we just brought in politics we need a drum roll <laughs> so but really what it is and 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 it is that wealth is something so beyond what we've made it to be yeah. it's that being able to walk into a into a mall and something calls you and it just says okay you i'm going i'm going home with you today you know it's it's going to a coffee shop you know how many times i've got this in my head where um i need to go to a certain coffee shop and i go there and i meet someone that's why i was like i've actually been thinking about you this morning you know and they pull me in and you meet them and then they come to a class as an example that's the wealth of living isn't it and it comes from that that joy because you you start to actually embrace your um your moments your you embrace your awareness rather than avoid it wow that's so so cool i i so love this conversation i'm not sure if anybody finds this as exciting as us um you out there i hope this is really contributing to you because what this takes is really to let in a totally different perspective of so creating your future and like this energy of fun and joy that where you think, oh, they're just goofing around. They're just being silly. Yes, we are. And we're actually doing this on purpose because this is an energy that you can create like magic from if you're willing to be it. But it is the willingness to be extremely different. And like if you tap into the energy of the future that truly is sustainable for our planet, for the businesses we're creating, wow. um, it does not come from contraction and seriousness. It comes from a space, from an ease, from a joy, where you actually are capable of receiving possibilities that are beyond your ability to imagine and fathom. Mm. And you wow, are as as you brought that up. What, what actually came up in my world was that that's like the generosity of spirit, right? And I've been reading um, Blessed Possibilities um, by Gary Douglas, and he's talking about the generosity of spirit. And we keep on thinking like generosity of spirit is like gifting and, you know, like giving away and blah, 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 blah. But he's saying, no, the actual energy of generosity of spirit is receiving everything the universe has to offer for you as the gift, including when things go wrong or when things go, don't work out well. That is actually the universe delivering a different possibility, but we've concluded it as a wrongness, but it's actually the generosity of spirit. There. Okay. So that, if you take that as a possible, like as an invitation to create more money, like receiving everything as a gift. So, um, like truly, like imagine like all the people you've decided you do not want to have in your life or the types of people you've decided you do not want to have in your life. And then imagine you're doing a class or having a project that involves other people. And you, this project is, has also the possibility to bring you money and loads of money. So if you have a point of view that there are certain types of people you're not willing to receive, can they actually join that project? Can they come to your class? Like how many people have you excluded? How many energies, how many possibilities have you excluded with the judgments you're having? Everything that that is, will you please destroy and create it? 
yeah. right, wrong, good, bad, pot, pock, all nine shorts, boys and beyond. So truly, like in the Blessed Possibility book, receiving everything as a gift, like everybody and everything. And like money, wealth is about receiving. And the space of joy is what you're being receiving. So this is an energy that you can invite. So one of the home plays or, or place that um, we we're going to give you for this or after this hangout is like, what if you, what if you from today on just for one day ask to have and be more fun than is normal and mm -hmm. allow money to be a side effect of that? Okay, so having more fun than normal is like asking, so what, what choice can I make today? What outrageous choice can I make today that expands everything right away? Okay, so what outrageous choice can you make today that expands everything, expands your future wealth right away? And everything that doesn't allow that, will you please destroy and create it? Oh, yes. Right, wrong, good, bad, pot, pock, all nine shorts, Ooh. boys and beyonds. Because outrageous choices are probably not the choices that are inside the box, that are the choices that people find normal. The outrageous choices are probably something that matches your reality, that brings joy to your world, that expands your world, that might not match other people's world, but it's going to give you a hint on what, on what works for you. And if you start going into the direction, towards the direction of what works for you, and, and what's fun for you, what expands your world, money actually becomes a side effect. Like mm. it's not, it, you don't want to look for money. You want to ask, what can I create? And when you start to create what works for you and what's fun for you, what's going to create your future and expands your future, money will come and it's, it comes as a side effect. So that's, that's why we add that weird energy of joy and fun so like as an invitation for you to actually find out more about what your reality that's fun for you and works for you. Yeah, that's brilliant, Susanna. And the, you know what's quite cool is when you're, we're talking about that, um, was it the, radic, what, the radical choice? The Out Outrageous? Outrageous is um, the ridiculousness of it all. And what I've noticed is like a lot of people, they – they'll make comments like, oh, it's ridiculous how much money that person makes. Like when they talk about a, a football player or they talk about a movie star, oh, it's, or it's ridiculous how much money that is. What if you are the ridiculousness that creates? You know, what, if, what if you're the ridiculousness that receives? And that's kind of what you really need to be where people are going to judge you like that when you actually have that ridiculous amount of wealth. Yeah, and the joy and the laughter and the craziness, you know, so everywhere you're unwilling to be totally outrageously ridiculous <sighs> because you might lose your family <laughs> when you destroy it and create it all, right? Yes. Wrong, bad, 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 all nine shorts, boys and beyonds. Wait, I got one. I like the randomizer. Yo. I didn't even find the random. Oh, there's the randomizer. Let's see what it pulls out. This is how you, you see. You can create oh. your future. <laughs> I turned one today and I lost an eye. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. So how much fun are you willing to truly have and be that if you would have and be it, would give you more possibilities than you've ever asked for? Everything like that, right? Wrong, good, bad, pot, pot, all nine shorts, boys and beyonds. And it's also, it's the ridiculous and also, uh, you know, when people have a lot of money, the judgments of, oh gosh, is that really necessary? Uh, oh, like for example, yeah. so I, I had a, I, I once had a phone, no, I had a phone and a mm -hmm. friend of mine sat on it. So the glass broke. And so I went to, I wanted to fix it, but then I went to the shop and they said, Hey, you know, we have this new phone, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, okay, so what can it do? And they say, well, it can do this and this. And I'm like, Oh, well, I like that. Cause that's, you know, that's, that looks fun to be able to do these features or these things. And so I got that new phone and then I went to, uh, to another shop to get my, to get my old phone fixed. And then, um, I got home and somebody said, but now you have two phones. Is that really necessary? And I'm like, Huh, that's an interesting, like, I didn't say that, but I thought, well, if that's an interesting point of view, like that functioning from, oh, that's not really necessary because it's fun. It's fun to have mm. two phones, you know? Oh, yeah. And yeah. 
And so again, that fun aspect, so everywhere you've been functioning from what's necessary and what's not necessary, rather than what's you know, fun for you and what's like outrageously fun for you, will you please destroy and create it? Yes. Right, wrong, good, bad, pock, pock, all nine shorts, boys and beyonds. Or when I go pack, you know, I travel a lot, um, I'm facilitating classes pretty much every weekend somewhere. And then I, you know, when I pack, I, I don't have fun packing what I need. I, I just pack whatever's fun for me to pack so I have choice when I get there. And so yeah. it's like, it's like if you ex extrapolate that to your life, how often do you function from what you need or what's necessary then rather than from, oh, you know, I'd like to have this, I'd like to have this, and I'd like to have this, and what else is possible? Well, it, that's brilliant because, you know, like how many people they do, they, they go, and I've done it many times, and you go, well, what would I need a, a four by four for? What do I need a <laughs> yeah. Is it yeah. they can go out whatever for? Like, why not? <laughs> like, seriously, why not? Yeah. And what was really interesting though is I once went to this 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 brilliant class, right? And it it gave me this awareness about um, having everything at hand, and that's kind of like what my reality was. And I never acknowledged it before. I actually made it a massive wrongness. And I'm thinking you're starting to get which class that was. But that class actually changed everything for me. And that was pragmatic psychology. And <laughs> wh why I'm bringing this up is because, you know, it, and it's a small example, but it's a little bit more on what you're talking about. But I've also got two phones. I don't, I've got one that's on, on iCloud, <laughs> okay? <laughs> so I can download Apple Play and I can have all my music. And then I've got one that downloads the Access Consciousness classes and I keep it in my car. And it plays all the time. But that's having that, that, just that energy, that willingness to have yeah. things that work for you in every single area is pragmatically mm -hmm. creating your future. It is. That's and exactly. So what can you add to your life? Who and what can you add to your life that will pragmatically and is pragmatically creating your future? And that question is pretty much while wow, frying one's brain when you ask that. But what if you ask that question, like who and what can I add to my life that will pragmatically expand and create my future? And then let the universe show you because there's so many choices that will show up or present themselves to you that don't make sense to your brain because your brain says, no, you don't need that. And, you know, is this really going to create a result? That's what the brain says. But if you go with what really expands your world, what makes you feel lighter, like those weird the choices that seem weird, they will expand your future. Like for me, mm -hmm. it was... Um, I was asked to buy a horse in Costa Rica. I live in, I live in, yeah, I live everywhere, but I have a closet in Austria. Let's put it that way. And so Austria and Costa Rica is uh, basically the other side of the world. But when I was asked to buy that horse, my whole world expanded. And I knew this is a very weird, like unnecessary, a choice that seems unnecessary. But I got the energy if I choose this, it will, there is something about this choice that makes in my world. And it does, it does every day. And like from that choice, non, not linearly, but in my world, because I was willing to add a beautiful being to my world that nurtures me, nurtures my body, that cares for me, that adds fun and joy to my body, my world. Non-linearly, this is creating more money in my life and my business. Yeah. And it's just yeah. incredible. So what outrageous, weird choices can you make that make no sense to your brain, but will and are expanding your future in a way that works for you? And, and that, that is, that's going to what we were saying earlier, where it's, it's choosing what you would like to have, not focusing on making money. Because the normal choice would okay, yes, I'd like to have a horse, but let me see what I can do to make more money to afford the horse. It's, no, I'd like to have that in my life. Okay, so what would it take to create it? Okay, let me choose it. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's creating it. Interesting. <laughs> you yeah. Know? Yeah. yeah. And then it, it exponentializes your energy and allows more energy flows to start, to start showing up, which increases your money flows. Yeah. And I know this is a conversation that's like probably, you know, when you listen to this, you go, Wow. And you might want to listen to this one again, because it's like, it's, it's so different and it's so nonlinear and it's so weird, but it's so pragmatic. It so works. And so really listen to this one again to, to, you know, 
to see what other aspects are there that might work for you to truly create your future. Yeah. The, the one thing that I keep on getting surprised by, really, it blows me away every time, is the more awareness I choose, the more knowing I choose, and the more conscious I become, the more pragmatic I become, which is yeah. really quite odd because there's this weird, well, I had this weird point of view that when you're conscious, like, it's like magic and theories, and, but it kind of seemed to be the opposite of what I actually I thought it would be. And yeah. it, it really is being pragmatic. It really is choosing to what works. Yeah, consciousness is truly pragmatic. Yeah. Like it's always the shortcut, choosing the shortcut to what expands your world, what creates more ease and possibilities, always. It's, it's the cheat sheet of life. Consciousness <laughs> It's the cheat sheet of life. <laughs> yeah. On that cool. note, let's put a little randomized thing here. Let's randomize. Whee! And so, um, talking about <laughs> randomizing. <laughs> <laughs> I love this. So um, Graham and I actually are creating something really amazing. We call it Pragmatic Extravaganza. Extravaganza. And it's um, where it starts with a pragmatic psychology class. Pragmatic psychology is, um, I just facilitated one this weekend, and it's, I just love this. It's something I created together with the founder of Access Consciousness, Gary Douglas. It's just, a, it's a different perspective and paradigm of psychology where it's about creating your life in a way that works. It's about using your crazy, your difference to mm -hmm. create for you and with you. And where you find out the things that you've judged the most about you, the wrongnesses, and even the things that might have been diagnosed are capacities that are capable that are possible to be used and um so at this these classes it's amazing to have a mixture of people who work with people like have clients doctors psychologists um, therapists nurses entrepreneurs, teachers yeah. entrepreneurs <laughs> and also people who just like feel so not fitting in anywhere and so wrong and together creating a different world for all of us where it's not about being traumatic anymore but pragmatic and uh, where also you find different ways of working with your clients so i'm really looking forward to this and following this graham crossgill and i will together facilitate a pragmatic futurist class um, and all of these classes like the two and a half day pragmatic psychology class and the, the two-day pragmatic futurist class that we are doing together is going to be in Vienna and you can also you can join us in Vienna and you can also join us online live streamed Ooh. Woo so um, like at this at this recent pragmatic psychology class it was like at day two we started to talk about the future not because it was on a, on any topic it just moved so naturally into the conversations we had where it was so much about creation because if you let go of the dramatics of your past you actually have the possibility to truly look at um practically creating your future and this is what graham and i will will advance into in that very new first pragmatic futurist class yeah it's it's gonna be amazing i'm so yeah. so looking forward to this <laughs> yeah and talking about the future um date wise when is it the it starts the extravaganza starts on the fourth or the fifth of april um and then we're both, we're both so amazing with dates we're like uh somewhere in the future seven. this class will be yeah. you know like oh i found it it's like pragmatic psychology starts on the fifth and yes. it's fifth in the evening and then until the seventh and the pragmatic future is on the eighth to the ninth of april yeah awesome. and you can join us in vienna or online and we're both really really excited uh because you know future is so up uh, in the air right now yeah. and there is a p possibility and a space to create that's just beyond and and um, what Graham is amazing at is working with with companies and like say more about this what are you doing I love this yeah thank you and it, it is that it's actually bringing companies to be pragmatic about the, creating their future because mm -hmm. everyone is trying to survive 
no one's trying to no one's creating to thrive and there is actually a way to get your business to work um, and not just from a financial point of view but from a your life is your business your business is your life point of view and everything becomes a part every choice you make can be a profit and that's really one of the things that we look at creating which is very yeah. cool yeah and like this is how the conversation with pragmatic futurists actually started with looking at the companies of this world and how like the old paradigm is just looking at results 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 and a new paradigm is moving or inviting us into you can have a great business and make loads and loads of money and consider the future yeah and create it yeah. like and consider creating a sustainable future with your business, which is going to add even more money to it. It's like this, just this bigger picture where it's less about the results and more about this playground of creation where money and lots of money becomes a side effect and you get to actually contribute to creating a planet and a future that works for all of us. Brilliant. Yeah. Brilliant. <laughs> cool. So see so you we there. Are, yeah. And and if you're all good, we're gonna make another hangout, maybe. Yay! <laughs> Yay! If, if you ask nicely. Exactly. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Bye, so everybody. Thanks for Bye. watching. Thank you, Graham. <laughs>